make a short demonstration on how to apply the bronze coat or the brown coat. And what, first of all, with plaster, you always have to get your surface damp. Now, damp means it changes color like this, but that's also all it means. If, once, if you get so much water on here that this is starting to run, you have too much water. So just shoot some water on there, either with a brush or with a, you can use a hose to spray it. But the hose is harder to measure and harder to control. So I'm always a fan of brushes. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this hawk. And I'd like to, I get the hawk wet a bit just so the clay has a thing to move. And then I'm gonna, this is our beautiful mix now. And you can see this mix is full of straw and it has a nice uh, uh, strength. It doesn't run off my hand, right? I can still hold it. That's pretty strong for a plaster. And so this is because we're trying to sculpt and build a thicker thing than a thin layer of plaster. If you want a thin layer of plaster, you need something that's much lighter that will just move under your trowel. But this one isn't going to be so light. So because I'm not superwoman, I'm going to try a fairly small tool. So I'm going to use this one because I don't want to overwork my arms. So you, you take this from your board and you can apply it onto the wall just like that. Okay, that's one way to work with that. Uh, this is a bit of a trick here with, with the board. You bring it over, you bring it up, and you are actually supposed to move the board past your trowel. Not your trowel from the board. There's a difference, and it's, if you can get that into your body right in the beginning, it'll be way easier than me where I learned it just at the very years into a wrong movement, right? So on here and you take some off you separate and you let this thing put it on your thing I, I have that same problem still it's not so easy so there it's now on my thing but I'm allowing this one to go actually into a quite an angle which you're afraid to do at first so try that And you just kind of spread it on the wall. And when you have a bunch of it on there, you can now uh, work with it. I'm a little rusty today because it has, it's been a while since I've done this. So you can now take this and shape it. You can pull a trowel around very nicely and see how it makes a, a steadier curve than when you do this by hand, right? And you have to, it takes a little practice and you, you will develop more and more skill over time. Now this body coat has the ability to do other tricks. So now if I want something bigger in one area, I can, I can start making shapes with this, right? It has the ability to stand up this this is why we have so much straw in there to make this have the, the, the possibility of standing and making shapes you can bend it and you can make it you know you can act, have different angles on one side or the other that gives different feelings of shadowing and this is an exploration really uh, an, into sculpture where you can just discover what something can do or what a shape does, or what a line does, or what an angle does, and what a curve does. So you can create these things on your wall that are something or that are not, depending on what you want, right? This is totally an example and I'm gonna take it off. But you see how this is standing there. And we can leave this standing here now. We can revisit it later in the day. And then we're gonna look at how is it doing? Because it will shrink as it dries and we will have to then go back and compress. And this is when the littler tools come in into these places to, to add the pressure so that it gets denser. And then you will have no shrinkage in the future. Mm.